Hi everyone, this is YML and today we are going to discuss a topic which I personally find really interesting, namely why naive base is naive and what implication this might have when we want to use this algorithm in practice. Firstly, let's start with a simple definition of the Bayes theorem because it stays at the core of naive Bayes algorithm. So what we have here is P of A given B, which is also called the posterior, P of A, which is called the prior, P of B given A, which is called the likelihood, and finally P of B, which is called the evidence. To better understand this theorem, let's give some more meaningful names to our variables in accordance to machine learning. So A in this case is Y or the classes and B is X or the data. Also in naive base we are usually not interested in P of X in the denominator or the probability of seeing that data. We are interested only in classifying the data so we can just ignore that term. So what we remain with is basically this equation and we can interpret as follows. So we have our prior distribution of our classes and as we observe more evidence of data, we modify this prior and create the new distribution of our classes, namely the posterior distribution. How? By simply combining the prior probability of that class with the probability of observing the data given that class. However, formulating the problem in this way is not naive and what is naive in naive base is the following assumption. Let's say that our data has some feature x1, x2 until xn such that we can rewrite the equation p of x given y as p of x1, x2 until xn given y. The naive assumption in naive base says that all these features are independent to each other. So we can rewrite p of x given y as a product of observing each feature independently given y. And why we do that? Well, because in practice it is actually quite hard to compute the probability of x given y without this assumption. And now let's see how this assumption affects this algorithm practice by looking at some possible applications. The first one is building a span detector using naive base. So in our case, P of Y is split into two classes, P of N, which is the prior probability of observing an email that is not a spam, and P of S, which is the prior probability of observing an email that is a spam. Basically, these two can be easily computed by counting the number of spam and non-spam emails in our dataset. To compute the probability of P of X given Y, we can use the naive assumption and say that all our words are independent of each other. And so we can compute the probability of each word in our corpus to appear in a spam or non-spam email by simply counting the frequencies. Okay, so now what happens when you get a new email? We simply compute the posterior probability of that email being a non-spam using the prior probability of a general email to be a non-spam, multiply the probability of each word in our email to appear in a non-spam email. And then we compute the posterior probability of that email being a spam using the same procedure. And we classify that email based on which of the two posterior probabilities is higher. And what was the problem here? Well, because we use the naive assumption, we consider all the words in the email to be independent of each other. So we missed important syntactic and semantic information that might have helped us in better predicting whether this email was spam or not. However, although naive base has this naive assumption, it works quite well in practice for classifying emails as spam or not spam using the previous methodology. Let's look now at a class of problems where the naive base is quite bad, namely image classification. Here we try to classify dogs and cats, so our P of Y, the prior probability, has two classes. P of D, the prior probability of that image to be a dog, and P of C, the probability of that image to be a cat. And again, to compute the probability of fix given Y, you assume the pixels to be independent and count the frequency of each pixel intensity to compute its independent probability. Then, when we get a new image, we apply the same methodology of computing the posteriors as in the email spam classification and select the class which has a higher posterior probability. So, a question naturally arises. Will this work out? Well, in this case, sadly, no. 
because in image classification the location of each pixel is very important and we just can't simply identify what is in an image by simply looking at how many pixels we have at a certain intensity. Why were our dogs cats classifiers? Simply because the colors of cats and dogs are quite similar. So we can just rely only on them for classification. Maybe for some kind of application where the color is a distinguishable factor, naive base might work, but not for this case. So this is basically why naive base is naive and what are the implications of this naiveness in practice. As always, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like to it if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful time. Bye bye.